back to my channel. So today I have another video for you guys. And in this video, I am going to be trying a new, um, I guess, adhesive. Um, you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I love, love, love the free spray. I also love um, the black bottle of the Got To Be Blue. If my eyelash look crazy, y'all, it look fine in the mirror, but one of them keeps like pushing down. So if I look like I'm winking at y'all, my bad. So I am a fan of these. These are my favorite things to glue my units down with or to tag my units down with because it's not glue, you guys. You guys still ask me that. It's not glue, it's gel. Um, but recently I needed a travel size holding spray to take with me and I didn't have um, or couldn't find a small one. I got my silicone strip stuck down here, y'all. Um, I couldn't find a small one in this, so I ended up getting this bedhead one. Um, so I was actually using this to do my slick ponytails on my natural hair while I was on vacation. Um, and I I used this one time on a synthetic wig but I took it right off like I didn't wear it throughout the day so I decided that I want to try this bedhead TGI mini hardhead spray I want to try to use this as an adhesive um, instead of this one one because if you guys hear that I'm pretty much out of this um, so I want to see if I can substitute it for this I looked up some videos on it I found two videos of two people using it um, so I'll go ahead and leave those youtubers down below because I don't remember their names off the top of my head but I'll leave their videos in the description box um, but they used it um, and it seemed to work fine for them so I'm also going to try it I'm going to wear it throughout the day it's pretty early right now it is it's like 10 30 in the morning um and i'm going to wear it throughout the day and see if it holds up to this one because i can get a few days out of this you guys like if i take care of it and try not to get it wet i have to like to do some touch-ups and things like that if you guys want to see how long i can get with using this spray then comment down below and i'll do a video on that um but yeah so i want to see how long i can get with using this one and this might be a better alternative i don't know we'll see how long this one lasts basically so the way that i'm going to be using is from best hair by and it is this baby right here so this is a 13 by 16 um body wave unit it's in 22 inches it doesn't really look like 22 inches to me like this but maybe when i put it on and straighten it it'll be a little bit longer but it doesn't look like 22 inches but it's supposed to be 22 inches you guys it comes pre-plucked but i did go ahead and pluck it a little bit more to get it to my liking but but it, they did do a really good job at starting me off, if that makes sense. Um, and it also comes with whole bleach knots. So they call it whole bleach knots. Basically what that is, is they bleach the knots twice, like through a bleaching process, to get it as, like bleached as possible i guess without over bleaching it like it looks really really good you guys like they did an amazing job with that um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put the unit on so here is the inside construction of the unit you get six inches of party space going back and 13 from ear to ear um other than that it's a basic construction and it has the adjustable straps in here these are oh they are removable you can also remove them so this is what it looks like on right now. I'm actually going to remove just a little bit of the hairs right here because I like mine to be as close to my natural hairline as possible. like that white cast to it but a lot of times with transparent lace units um because they're more of like a light beige color like they're more like 
they're the lace without the tint if that makes sense they're like kind of white like kind of light beige it kind of gives off that cast so you just want to go ahead and take either your foundation or your foundation powder and kind of dab it over that but i'll do that towards the end right now i'm going to tie this down um and let it sit for about 10 minutes to make sure everything is nice and intact so i'm just going to style it while this tied down or try to style it i'm just taking this cream of nature mousse to set my part really freaking good huh <laughs> so i got a little bit of white residue from the spray um it never really happens with the free spray to me um it happens a little bit but this is kind of a lot so i'm just taking some more of this sleek and shine sleek and shine spray and gonna try to get rid of that so i'm just taking a little bit of water on this toothbrush and gonna try to get the rest out because I don't want to keep adding oil and then make it hella greasy. So I'm just trying not to wet the lace. So this is what it looks like right now. No baby hairs. I haven't um, put any foundation or powder or anything on the lace so it is giving off that like kind of white yellow cast. Um, but I'm going to add baby hairs to it even though this is a no baby hair unit. I'm going to add just a little bit because I just need something y'all. You don't have to do this. Y'all know that. Y'all know y'all don't have to do this. I am just doing this because I want to. I don't know where I want it though. As long as you're there. As long as you're there. Baby, we can do this all night. Keep on taking this and I love on oh love. I don't really care if you don't. Okay, so I'm okay with that. And now I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation. So I feel like when I use my powder, when I take pictures, like, and it's dark or something like that, I feel like it gives me a flashback. I don't know if you guys ever seen someone's picture and you know that they got a wig on, like, that doesn't matter. But, like, when they take the picture, it's like a white cast around the hairline area. So I haven't figured out if it's the wig cap, like when I do the ball cap method, if it's the cap that's reflecting on the flash or if it's the powder foundation, because that's usually what I do. I usually do both. So I need to honestly do like a test and see which one it is. But right now I don't have the wig cap, the ball cap like method on. I just have my wig cap kind of pulled back. But I'm going to go in with my foundation liquid because I feel like when I use the liquid instead of the powder, it doesn't do that. I don't even know if I'm taking pictures today, but just in case y'all, I just hate that creepy looking cast around the hairline. Baby, we can do this all night. Keep on taking this and I love on oh love. I don't really care if you don't mind. Baby, we can do this all night. We can do it all night. We can do it all night. Maybe it is 22 inches, you guys. I really like this unit a lot. Like it looks really good. It's laying super duper flat. I haven't got like any shedding from like the middle. I know I'm gonna get a little bit from the front from like leftover stuff that I plucked and didn't get out. No, actually I'm still not getting nothing. Um, 
but yeah it looks really good i'm gonna leave it in the body wave state that it came in right now because i just want to get aware of it like this because you know it never goes back how it started but look at this hairline you guys this looks freaking good a little bit foundation stain but it looks good it looks melted it feels tacked down like let's see my scalp moving with it it feels tacked down so i'm gonna wear it throughout the day and see if i can get a feel for it see how it feels um and then i'll try to come back tonight and let you guys know if it stayed in place if anything started lifting or anything like that but right now this sucker feels like it feels like it's on there like it kind of feels like i could feel more of a hold than with this one. i don't know if it's because i just use this one so much so like i know what it feels like but this one kind of like i can feel the grip if that makes sense um but so far so good so far i like it hopefully i can keep it on for a few days and come back and show you guys like tomorrow and see what it's doing and stuff um but right now i'm gonna say yes i freaking like it it is melted it is in place it doesn't feel like it's moving we can do this all night we can do it all night we can do it all night baby won't you hold tight hold tight hold tight okay love so i am back and it is actually day three you guys i was supposed to come back that night i didn't i got tired and then yesterday i was supposed to come back but i was doing my taxes and things like that all day and y'all, if y'all been following me on Instagram, y'all know that my YouTube got hacked. Like, somebody stole my YouTube channel from me and changed all of my stuff. If you guys seen it, I don't know, they went live for like four hours on my channel. So I've been dealing with that and I was filming this even though I knew I didn't have my channel back yet. So I finally got it back last night. So I was dealing with all of that yesterday. Um, and yeah, so this is day three of using the Bedhead Spray, you guys. And this is bomb. Like, it definitely, definitely, definitely gives this a run for its money if it's not better. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to do a comparison with them, like this on one side and this on the other side so I can really, really tell. Um, because this looks really good for day three. And I can get three days out of this as well, but this looks really freaking good, you guys. So let me zoom you guys in. I didn't do any retouches at all for this part at all. Um, yesterday I did work out in it and it didn't move. But again, I'm not again because y'all don't know this, but I don't sweat like that on my face and uh, scalp area so I never really have an issue um, with like sweating off my wigs but I did work out in it and it did not budge it did not move that morning though I did um, my ear tabs did lift on both sides but that happens with everything that even happens um, with this it happens with everything except the real glue so that wasn't an issue for me like that's totally normal I tacked them down before I worked out um, but they came loose again but this could also be from like me taking a shower and like my shower cap wetness or from when I'm like washing off my makeup. Um, sometimes I could be a messy, you guys. So it kind of loosens up around the edges sometimes. But this part right here, I didn't do anything to it. It is starting to lift if I like push it back like this just a little bit. Um, I don't know how good you guys can see that. But other than that, you guys, this is the freaking truth, okay? So I might be using this more than this one because I'll tell you guys I'm almost out of this one anyway. But I definitely, definitely recommend getting this and definitely recommend you guys trying it out. If you've tried this out, comment down below and let me know how you feel in comparison to this one. Because this is a stronghold, you guys. But this... This is giving it a run for its money. So this sucker still looks so freaking good. I did get a little bit of shedding on the unit because I didn't really touch it at all yesterday. I kind of had it in a, like a low bun. Um, so when I combed it out today, I did get some shedding. But I think it was because last night I didn't um, wrap it how I usually do when I wrap my wigs. I usually tie a scarf around the edges and then I'll like either twist or braid. Uh, the back up and put it in my bonnet so it's not all rubbing I didn't put it in my bonnet last night so when I woke up it was like all fuzzy and crazy back here so I did get some shedding um, with this unit with that but I think again that's because I didn't wrap it properly but it looks so freaking good you guys I haven't done anything to the hair nothing else to the hairline you guys wig is a thumbs up for me and this freaking bedhead spray is a thumbs up for me as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time i post i love you guys and i'll see you on my next one